President Trump says he will continue his zero tolerance policy for undocumented immigrants, but today he signed an executive order ending family separation at the border. And tonight we are hearing from a father who was separated from his 16 year old son. They are back together now, but it was a difficult experience. Our Marcelino Benito joins us live from McAllen to explain. Marcelino. <laughs> Guys, let's be clear. What the president did today is something he said he could not do just a few days ago. The folks here at Catholic Charity say he did the right thing by signing this executive order, but so many families have already been separated, and tonight one of them is sharing their story. Making it across the Rio Grande for many immigrant families is the final step of a long journey into the United States. Daniel Reeve says he made the 20 day journey from Honduras with his 16 year old son. They fled violence and the threat of MS 13. A small group traveled in the back of a cold trailer freezer. 24 hours. At one point, he says no food or water for 44 hours. When they finally got to the U.S., they turned themselves into Border Patrol, and the separation began. I felt alone, Daniel told me, wanted to be with my son, didn't know how long we'd be apart. He was processed here at the McAllen Central Processing Center. He says some were treated better than others, described the conditions inside as very cold. They get little sleep, he says. When some would nearly doze off, Daniel says certain agents would wake them up by nudging them with their feet. I'm not sure if he's aware. Very little respect for us, Daniel says. Six days later, this morning, he got to hug his son again, both released from custody. It came hours before the president signed his executive order. I think it's a step in the right direction. I, that is good. It had to stop. It was wrong. Uh, I'm glad it, it, that he has reconsidered his own policy. Sister Norma Pimentel says now the focus shifts to helping separated families reunite. Daniel and his son are one of the lucky ones. Ah, sí. no se le aún. No se le you don't forget what you went through, Daniel told me. It was so emotionally difficult. His wife, who was planning to cross with his other children next week, will no longer be attempting the journey. Now that is just one of hundreds of families that we have seen processed through this respite center. I can tell you I have reached out to Border Patrol to get specifics on how their policies are going to change as a result of the president's executive order. So far, we have not heard back. We're live in McAllen tonight. I'm Marcelino Benito, KHOU 11 News. Marcelino Benito, thanks so much.